Hey guys, what I got for you today is the Master Built Sportsman's Elite Electric Smoker. I haven't talked about it much because it hasn't given me much fits, uh, but it's going on about five, maybe six years now. The issue I'm having is that it stopped heating up altogether for me. Uh, so I'll take you around back and show you what I found out. Okay, now that we're around the back, uh, you have two access panels here. This lower one is to access your uh, wiring to your heating element. So we'll take that off. All right, with the six screws removed, you can see there's a back cover and there is a rubber gasket. And then you have the access to your, your wiring. Let me get you a little closer. Okay, with you guys zoomed in, you can see these are the two terminals to the heating element itself. And then these are the two leads that go to the heating element. Uh, initially taking it off, uh, this was attached here. Um, and it corresponds with the, the burn mark here in the rubber gasket. And then this one here was attached over here, obviously. And as you can see, it is completely corroded away. The terminals are fine on the element, but uh, yeah, this uh, this terminal is where this connector has seen better days. Uh, also, you can tell there's some heat in here. Obviously, this thing is uh, life is heating. Let's go and see what parts I have to fix this all up. Okay, after searching uh, my model number that's on the back of the smoker, I came up with uh, one source for the parts and what I thought was a better deal than just uh, shooting in the dark for the element on Amazon. So this is from appliancefactoryparts.com and this is the replacement element kit for 1200 watts uh, for my specific model. So about 25 bucks, that's uh, no shipping um, well, shipping was $10, but $14.99 for the kit. <clears throat> uh, what this kit includes, a number of things that I didn't see on the kits on uh, Amazon. So, first off, we have our heating element. Uh, we have a replacement gasket for the actual smoker housing. We also have a replacement gasket uh, that goes over top of those terminals. Some heat shrink, two leads that are already connected and uh, they already have the leads. These are silicone covers. Uh, wires are already cut. These look like a little bit high, higher temp than what you get at the hardware store. A couple of twist splices, we'll call them for now. And then some mounting hardware, a couple of nuts, and a couple of lock washers. All right, the removal process is going to be pretty straightforward. What we're going to do is take off all of the attaching hardware on the element that's installed in there. We're going to take a look at all that stuff. And then we will remove the heating element and then reinstall this new heating element, put the rubber gaskets on, attach our leads, put some heat shrink over top of the leads, keep them extra protected, and then do a test of it, make sure everything works out. So let's get into removing some things and figuring this out. All right, let's first remove some of this stuff out of here. We don't need. All right, now that I got you guys on mobile mode, there's a clip right here that goes right over top of our element. Um, the cover here for the, we'll just call this the little smokehouse, has uh, three bolts or three screws over here. We can take those out, it's pretty easy. And then back here in the back, Looks like we're just sitting on top and that's really the only thing that's holding us in. So, one screw here, three screws over there, and then this cover should come out. So after further investigation, this, uh, this screw right here has to come out in the back as well.
There's a smokehouse. There's our grounding hardware off. And then I'm gonna go around to the front and I'm gonna un, uh, I'm gonna pull the element through and then kind of tilt it up. All right, I brought you to the other side because there's something else I wanted to show you uh, with this. So take this off, um, the element out. So you can see that there's a gasket here on the inside part. And that's pretty toasted. And it's, it's just kind of crumbling apart back here. So that's what the other gasket's for. Let me go grab it. So this gasket that came with the kit, it's an exact fit for uh, these mounting holes in here. So let me get a scraper, scrape all this stuff off, give us a little bit of a wipe, wipe down, and then uh, we'll go to reinstalling. Okay, anything worth doing is worth overdoing, right? So I've gone through and cleaned everything now. So we'll take our replacement burner. We will slip on our uh, silicone gasket you here. You see it's a uh, perfect fit. Fish hook this into position. And then we'll go around the back side and start hooking things up. Okay, first thing we need to do is put these mounting screws on. Um, right here with the ground and uh, over here behind this insulation we'll pull that excess out of the way we use the new hardware provided and then we'll go our ground lock washer and then our nuts With that out of the way, let's look at installing our cables to do an ops check before we install everything else. So what we need to do is we need to trim back these old terminals uh, and then expose the wire. So let me, let me go back here where it's not messed with by the heat. All right. And I want to approximate the same size here. There's one, and there's two. All right, let's uh, hook these up and do a little test. All right. All right, guys, uh, I've set up the multimeter here with the temperature probe on it. Uh, I got the thermistor uh, on the element. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is testing out the electrical on the back because I still have to put the uh, rubber o-ring in back there uh, I've also got the Test of the actual Element to make sure all the other wiring and the control panel is good. I'm gonna put this up to I think 250 uh, I'll, I'm maybe 200 and see how this goes um, you Might know some shake and it's just because I might kick the stand here power on Cool still no sparks We'll go to set temperature, we'll go to 200, set time, we'll go one hour, and we'll hit start. Ah, it would help if I actually set the time. Now you can see it rising up there at 89, 90, 100. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're way above where I wanted to, where I want to touch it. 209. We're still climbing, so we're doing good. We're, we're we've got electricity flowing. I can feel the heat radiating off, and that 
off of that. So we're doing good. So this is good. This ops checked good. What we're going to do is go in the back. We'll take apart what we put together, uh, put the gasket on, and then go from there. Put everything back in the front. All right, I'm going to run you through how uh, this basic operation of the smoker, the master built Sportsman Elite works. So obviously you have that plugged in. Come over here, you go to power on. You set your temperature. All right, then you go to set your time. You set your hours. And then you set your minutes. And then you hit set time again. Your heating light illuminates and you're starting to Heat up. Okay, back at the smoker. I had to set it for another hour. We're setting it about 45 minutes now, so we're up to 254. Let's throw a handful of pellets in there because I think they burn a little bit hotter, so um, yeah, let's do it. All right, with about 20 minutes worth of time on this, uh, you can see it's smoking up a storm just as uh, it would normally. It's actually doing a little bit better than it was the last two times. I used it. I'll let this run through its uh, course and then uh, I'll just let it turn off and it'll be good from there. Well, as always guys, appreciate you watching. Hope this helps somebody out and uh, let me know in the comments below.